Hoonigan Project cars. He's finally back. And What's that thing up there? Oh, that water is nice oh. looking. <laughs> that looks like a milk. Garage! Garage! Big Zach Energy Bye. in three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, the channel is back. That is right. Hoonigan Project cars. He's finally back, and of course, we got Kyle back. It Who means, do we have, Kyle? You know why? Because shit's getting built! Isn't that right, boys? Yeah. It's not getting built, it's getting assembled. because we were calling it. Well, we're bringing back a show. Bringing, bringing back, back a show. show. We're bringing back a show. What is it? What is it? Garage! Garage! That's right. It's coming back. That's right. Come on, let's go show the folks what we're about to get into. And if you feel like you're in high school detention right now because Zach is yelling at you, don't worry. I swear, we're gonna have more kind-hearted, light humor and some smiles on camera. Are there? Huh? Will you quit stalling? We're working on a bunch of stuff. We've actually already begun working on stuff so we could actually bring you content as soon as we hit the ground running here. So we're gonna tell you about some of that stuff, but if you stay tuned today, we're actually going to work on something. Don't lie to me, boy. But first, here's a little rundown of the stuff that we're gonna work on this year on the channel. We promise, pinky swear. Uh, okay. So I got three projects going this year. First and most important is my two-door Tahoe. No prep drag truck. It's got a very, very spicy setup from Texas Speed coming in. It's not what you think it would be. We got two other things. My K5, which you may remember from the old shop. And we have my new Daily, which is a 2010 Corvette Grand Sport, which also got some updates from Texas Speed. Namely, of course, that BFD cam. More on that later. The revolving doors of cars for me. First off, the bolt-on boy, final form. I'm also building a Jim Conner grid car, but more on that later. And then I have a Thrasher car. More on that later. Have not had a lot of luck this year. I have a blown up Subaru. I have an Evo with a maybe blown up transmission. This thing, blown up. This thing, blown clutch. I'm gonna be working on all of those. Mainly my Evo, I'll be talking about that later. So it's gonna be a lot of building and hopefully more driving. Oh, that's right, can you, uh, I didn't know when to start. Sorry, sorry, I heard him talking. All right, everybody, y'all ready for some top secret level 69 type confidential stuff? So I'll let you break it down to your grandfather's engine out of his house fire C5 Corvette going into this bad boy, R34 GTT. Also, I got to get this ready for the track because I'm really trying to be a fast boy this year. And then if I can, I can fulfill my Monday night football urges and get my OBS full cab Chevy Dually truck that I want to slam, jam, and tow these bad boys around. And maybe one other project is percolating the right way. All right, so this year I have 23 <laughs> I can't even say it in a straight face. This year I have 23 projects to build, but the guys told me I had to narrow it down to three for the channel, but I'll narrow it down to five. First up, the F600, pretty easy swap. Gonna steal the motor out of coal. Narrow. That's like an overnight job. Like that's really easy. Check out the big brain on huh? Brian Scotto. After that, I've got my A86 project, which is my Gymkhana grid build. And then I've got a bunch of other just small things that need to get finished. The Rover's running, the 4000 needs a little bit of bits, the Coupe Quattro, we won't talk about that, and uh, oh, and also the Mexi truck. I got, I got too much to work on, but we're gonna focus on this and the 86, that's the plan. And that's not all. And this year, we got three different types of content we're gonna do. First up is Quick Fix. What's Quick Fix, Jerry? Just simple in and out, one day process. That's get right. Get it done. And we also have a show for longer term projects. That's right, that's where we, the staff, work on our own longer term builds. And if you haven't heard, we're launching an event series. It's called Ken Block's Gymkhana Grid. And what it is, is basically time drifting meets rally in a mirrored course. It's really cool. If you wanna learn more, check the link below. But we're all gonna build cars for it. And they're all gonna be wildly different. Uh, and we're gonna be competing in the event series, so make sure to tune in for that. So anyway, what are we gonna start with today? I would say a boat. I mean, it is Lake Flaccid right now. Look at Jameson just trekking through it. <laughs> Yo, Jameson, what should we work on today? I don't know, probably drink Lake. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not our job. What's that thing up there? That red thing. Oh, you know. The red thing is what see, needs to be he's also been reading the comments. Because the guys on bonus were begging for us to finish the McCurr. We have a rear wheel drive turbo car yes. that runs and drives. Yes. And we put it on top of a container. Yes. Because I thought it was the only place that it would be safe. That's how you pronounce it. A car 
that we bought from a person to finish Gymkhana 10. It's a crazy story of how we got this car. Maybe overpaid a little bit. Car was 1500 bucks. I had it on my Craigslist because I wanted to buy it. And we found out that the only place we could find a power steering rack in America was in an x ratty because they're basically a Sierra. <laughs> And uh, we paid five grand for it. The power steering rack that also fit Ken's Gymkhana 10 Ford Escort Cosworth. Same rack. Yeah. According to you, it should fire right. I think it's gonna run. Predictions? Uh, Brian has a very loose definition of running, driving, and finished projects. So I'm sure we could get it to like fire up. So anytime that we do this kind of thing, we're gonna have a four hour time limit because Brian needs a time limit, okay? So we got four hours, see if we can get this thing running. And if we don't, Brian gets kicked in the nuts. Ooh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, <laughs> yes, because I'm here for the food. <laughs> I think if we're prepared enough, we could get it to fire today. It'll start up, I think. Oh yeah, we'll start. It'll run. Why is this show about me? Big guy, big mouth, big dream. Let's get this bad boy off. Let's go. What you find in it? Whoa. Yo, what is that? <laughs> there was just a plastic bag stuffed in the fender well. I what is it? Drunk. Put it back so it's on camera. Insulation. <laughs> Sick. It's a lot uglier eye level. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a pile of bricks. Yeah, yo, the sheepskin. Oh, I forgot that was on. God. Yo, oh, is that the smoke bomb? Dude. Sick. From Scumbag Live. Yeah. Yeah, my dad's is shit. All right, what are the, all right, don't, Brian. No, 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 don't but, lean on it. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Standard Hoonigan fashion, we would just uh, connect the jump pack to this thing, turn the key, and probably destroy everything in it. We're gonna actually do things the right way. Doubt it. So the checklist is, first, pop the hood, Gary. And basically look underneath, make sure that rats or other kind of rodents haven't like chewed through a bunch of stuff. We wanna check fluids, make sure there's actually fluids in the car. Probably wanna change the oil. And the gas. It would be ideal to drain the gas. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna just add a bunch of good gas into it. The idea being that hopefully the good gas mixes with the bad gas and it becomes okay gas, which is fine for this vehicle. Yes, science! Most importantly, we're gonna spin it and make sure that the actual engine spins. But before we do that, we're gonna pull spark plugs out and we're gonna throw some lube in there and make sure that like the walls and all that stuff are nice and, uh, nice and glossy so that things actually move. Oh, and then lastly, once we've done all that and it's safe to start, put a new battery in it, crank it. It's don't got no key, there's no key in the ignition. It got oh. We should have the key for this somewhere. Isn't there that toolbox full of keys? Yeah, I, Let me oh. guess, there is a random... Oh! oh, oh yo, man! We were organized once, it actually yo. says McCurr on it. Do you know why they made this? No. Ford was losing so much market share to BMWs and Mercedes. So they built, uh, they took a car, f are they just leaving? They took a car from England, rebranded it Mercur. Too much talking, too much talking. All right, so you may be wondering why we need to change tires on it. Because when we got these, they were way too tall. Look at that, that's all body chewing through oh, it. Oh, nice. Or a nice little window into the sidewall. So one of the main things about getting it running again, better tires. Yeah, I shouldn't wait, say, wait, wait. I shouldn't say better. Better? Yo, it's the brand name Waterfall. Waterfall. Got rain Ratings, it's a C. I don't know what that means. You're telling me a tire named Waterfall is a C? Dude, we have sound ratings on the tire. That's sick. All right, come on, let's go, let's go. NASCAR pit style, even though you're definitely not doing any of this in NASCAR. But... Yeah, son. Oh, yeah! In case you guys don't know, by the way, this right here, this is Josh. Josh has been with the team for quite some time in the background, making stuff happen. Big ups to our man, Josh. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Ohana. Hey. Coming through. And of course, Nala Ohana. Nala. Best dog in the game. Does not care unless you have steak. Oh God, that smells horrible. Yeah. Thought it was gonna smell better than it looked. Oh damn. Oh, you threw a tire to the Is this shit heavy? This how they come in Europe? Yep. Ain't this the engine he got sitting up in that thing he tell us not to throw away from yeah. the Audi? <laughs> it's pretty similar. That's a turbocharger. Oh, this buddy. Like so this is a 2.3 inline four known as the Pinto engine, but this is actually like a modified version of it. But this is like the same thing we got in the SVO Mustang. This is an elaborate use of zip ties. It's one zip tie yeah. being used as a mount, then another zip tie connecting it, and then just a reinforcement That's zip the tie. third dimensions of zip yeah. ties. I love that the airbox looks like 1950s cookware. Yo, what is this? It looks like a crock pot. Yeah, By the way, one bad. of the things on the list that you should do is also make sure that your airways are all clear, because this is where rats and rodents like to live in cars that sit in fields. 
That looks good. Oh, is there already a K and N in here? I don't know. You might have dropped a bolt right down in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the blade on the, the salad, is for. The salad shooter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We should drain it. You guys are gonna waste oil, changing oil on a car that you don't even know if it runs. I say fire this puppy up. Don't listen to Vinny. After five years, oil basically loses all of its uh, oil. Yeah, it loses all its oil properties. <laughs> Lubricating properties. Yeah. Just, this is where Scotto's dad strength actually kicks in. He bench presses the car. There we go, Texas T boys. Yeehaw! It is black. Do we have new oil? Parts <laughs> 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 master? What is this shit? Oh look, it's for gasoline engines. That's good. We did a whole thing of how oil goes bad Yo. over time. <laughs> yeah, the shadow from the 1980s. Whatever, we tried. Oh, it's what is, good. That looks good, except for all the parts in it. Yeah, what is that? Is that bubbles? Did you shake it? <laughs> Look at all the chunks in there. <laughs> How much oil is it taking? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. We just hooked it up with some conflict oil. Dude, we could have put some oil. Soul Glow. It would have been better than that parts master shit. Honestly, it's good to oil the outside of the motor too. Oh, oh look yeah. at that. <laughs> yes. When it slammed on that, it would look good. I grew up with a river that like they put dead bodies in. Oh, the Hudson River? Hudson. Oh, oh, them things is wet, boy! Oh, that's, oh. that's the oil. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Good, so we lubed the first cylinder. Yeah. First cylinder's lubed. James, so what are we doing? So our plan was to fog each cylinder, like pre-lube it, so we could turn the crank and just free up the cylinder walls and get rid of whatever's probably condensation, rust. But uh, when we pour the oil, it got a little spicy and poured it all over the valve cover. So now it's sitting on all the plugs. When I pull the plug, like remaining oil that spilled, it's all spilling into the cylinder. So now <laughs> we Let killed two birds with one stone. <laughs> Kids, if you're ever pulling oil freehand, just use a funnel. <laughs> Spark plugs look decent. So look, you can just crank it, right? That's what any of these jabronis would do. But uh, a little fogging oil, you spray inside, makes the cylinder walls nice and slippery, just in case like you built up some rust in there, you don't blow your rings out. Um, it's just a good thing to do. Put it in, crank the engine with the plugs out for a few seconds, and you're good to go. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, let's, uh, let's hand crank this boy and see if it actually spins. Look at how smooth that is. Look at how low compression that uh, motor well, is. Oh, there's no spark plugs. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, all right, plugs back in. Let's, right. You get a battery in there? Let's get it. So that thing's looking super gunk. Guaranteed it's not good. Anti-gravity battery. ATX20 HD. Heavy duty. Comes with a little terminal kit. These little squares right here. Mega light. This thing's crazy, crazy light. I, I love these things. I run them in all my cars. We have dry started cars that are worth a hundred times more than this car is worth with no precautions. We have put all the precautions into this. We fogged the cylinder walls, we hand cranked it to make sure it worked. Now we're gonna prime the engine, get a little oil in the turbo. Why do we care so much? You knew you're new us. Or is it just because I'm here? It's just because you're here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Battery's a little smaller than the other one. <laughs> It's not the size of the snoot that you boop, is that what you said? Yeah, it's not the size of the dog, it's the size of the snoot. You just don't arc Ron, it. Ron, yeah, muscles. bro, I like that, you triple you stack. Did, did it first? Ooh. Let's go. That's OEM, bro. Uh, <laughs> we could actually put this on the floor and be safe if nah, we wanted to. Nice, nice tall guy yeah, right, for working, sick. you know? Sick. That's prime. <laughs> All right, let's put some gas in here. Let's put the spark plugs back in. This could be a Jim Connor grid car. This is the Jim Connor grid car for whoever doesn't finish their car in time for Yo, grid. So, so should we get Scott's name printed on the side? Now? <laughs> we oh, bring thanks. it there on the day. <laughs> That's a great idea. Whoever's car doesn't get finished has to run this. She took like a gallon. Took a gallon, and then she's full. Permatex brake and parts cleaner. Are you ready? We're priming. I'm only gonna do it if Jameson gives me a thumbs up. Is this good to go? Yeah! Oh, oh, can we review shit. the amount of cranks needed to start this engine? Motor just moved a quarter turn. Wow. This thing burns. What a doubt. Yeah. Wow, and it idles? Yeah, great. Hold on, hold on. 
This is getting a 6.9. Wow. Is it knocking? Sounding a little like rod knocking. Oh no, that was the uh, that was the open dip clanking. Oh. oh, inside it sounded completely mechanical. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> tires make a lot of smoke. Dude. Oh, oh, no. oh, how do I get around this? Oh, I'm so frustrated. I think it's just mostly the oil burning off. It also just kind of died, but. Fire yeah. <laughs> <Buy> it. <laughs> Good man. Hey, I, I wonder if the I wonder if the sun reports. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Yo, what? Oh! oh, it's manual. It might actually work. Oh, it's just a yes. Sunroof works. Sick. I have to admit, I'm pretty excited about this day. I'm actually really excited about yeah. this car. It sounds pretty nice. <laughs> That what? sounds terrible. <laughs> what is that? Let me get... Oh. Yeah, it's like an under tray, like, meets a heat shield. Oh, yeah. It looks like a heat shield. It's alarming how uh, easily this goes into reverse. Oh, I know. First. I know. Literally sounds like rods are making their way out of the block actively. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's it's fine. fine. Yo, the steering's really bad, isn't it? It's like really heavy. And turbo lag. Foot down. Foot down. Foot down. And there it is. Oh, the speedo started working. Uh, the tack does not however. No. And like that, people, making dreams come true. Have you ever had a dreams that that you um, dreams. nopes and dreams? The garage, garage. What is that, a mantra? A mantra? Oh, God, oh brakes. boy, the brakes don't oh, really brakes. work. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to tell you that. Brakes don't work. Light. That's a brake light. The brake light, yeah, yeah. So it knows, it knows, it knows it the knows. brakes aren't good. There's also a coolant light on right now. There's probably no coolant in the car. We didn't check that. She's running. Check cool. your, check your, oh, oh, there's no seatbelts <laughs> either. <laughs> nice, yeah. It sounds rod knocky if I'm honest. <laughs> Gotten a little too excited. Ooh, I smell cool one too. Where did we go wrong? I mean, maybe. By coming maybe, into work today. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was ripping a sitter immediately after starting it. It was warmed up by then, though. The temp cage doesn't work. <laughs> it just won't up the temp yet. Um, does it not have coolant? We never checked we that. Check. <laughs> we didn't check the brakes either. You guys just got a whiff. That's fine. Oh, the brakes don't work. They don't work. It's fine. Do we think it's a head gasket? Man, I'm kind of bummed. I got really excited about this. Who wants to crack the coolant open? Right now? No, not right now. <laughs> That's why I said who wants tomorrow. to. Not on the manifold. Yeah, you're gonna crack the man and the alternator. Oh. This sounds like a campfire. <laughs> Uh-oh. The fact that it's not making any noise means there's no coolant in it. 
Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> no cooling. Uh, there's dirt in there. There's a whole lot of gunk. Start filling it up with puddle water. Let's go. Oh yeah. Look at that. Nice. He we doesn't... have to start draining. No. no. We have no. to start draining no. the puddle. No. Oh. no. It just smells like hot metal. I'm sure that thermostat is wide open. Let's try to find some more water. <laughs> I'll just go fill this. Oh, there you go. Oh, look, you got it. It's actually getting the block. It started like it wanted to run. We made a checklist and we forgot to check one of the things on the checklist. <laughs> we want to check fluids, make sure there's actually fluids in the car. That's fine, it's perfect. Mind you, the car's not and on. And now it's... <laughs> the car's not on in, in any way. I don't know, I have hope it'll run. Yeah, it'll run. 100%. I don't know how long, but it's gonna run. <laughs> I mean, clearly, yeah, yeah. I how mean, healthily it'll run, that's Like, it. does it have a blown head gasket? Did we warp anything? How do we end this? <laughs> I think it's, oh, it's over. Oh, it ended. It, it, so, uh, it, we already talked about how we end it. it. It ends with playing the beginning in reverse. <laughs> so you just watch the car go back up on the trailer. That's how it ends. Is that okay with you? Yeah. That's the closest we'll get to polishing a turd in reality. <laughs> That we ever will. <laughs> Why would we not? Have you seen that Mythbusters episode where they actually polish a turd? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they make a shiny poop ball. Yeah. Five minutes later. All right, so uh, everyone else is left. Oh. <laughs> oh, the Pendex probably didn't come out of the car though. <laughs> We're still good. We're back in action. We're back. We're back. It definitely fixed itself though, because we didn't fix it. We just added water. Uh, let, it, let it work itself out. The coolant light's off too. We did it. We fixed it. Yo, it's running 180. Yeah, He's a race car. Come in. Yeah, I think we fixed it. Temp gauge is reading and the coolant lights turned itself off, so clearly it's all good. We got it working again. All right, test drive number two. The, the brake, brake lights on, yeah. Brake light's not really great. I don't know what's up with the steering. Does it need power steering uh, fluid? Yeah, that shit's whining. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, she runs better when she's not fucking, uh... Dude, this thing runs way better now. Yeah, wow, amazingly when it's 300 degrees. It actually it has power. Better. I really did. Or... I'm so bummed. Oh I'm so happy God. right now. Let's get Gustavo to clean this thing up and let's do it. Oh, she's a beaut. Driving is fun. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's way it, it's actually way faster, surprisingly, because it's not 380 <laughs> degrees. This, I mean, this episode's got everything. Uh, it's got failure. It's got winning. It's, it's got, got glory. It's got glory. It has it has drama. What did we learn today? We well, you see, we made mistakes so you could learn from our mistakes. That's right. Yeah, that's what we that's did. Right. Here. You know, a lot of people sit there and they tell you how things work. Explainer shows, not us. We're learned by disaster shows. Learn that's the what, hard way. Learn the hard way, guys. Yeah, now it works, we're gonna make it look nice. We'll get Gustavo to restore it. Yeah, Gustavo's gonna restore the paint. My guess is that the paint, some of it will, some of it won't. Uh, bring this thing back to life. I forget, how do we end these? Do we, do we end with Garage Garage? Dude, we, end, we used to end with that's a wrap. Oh yeah, okay. but that's... Well, it's not a wrap, because yeah, this thing's gonna be on a wrap. That's not a wrap. No. took this from not to hot bro this thing smelled like shit like old high school bungalow you know exactly what that smells like and now it smells like a sephora is it 
sounded German, and then they changed the, the naming on it from a Sierra to an XR4Ti because everybody was competing with things like the 3 Series. Every All the top like European cars all had number names, so they just tried to take what was a British Ford and sell it to 